we are on location at the Banawi Rice Terraces, the home of organic rice growing. Yeah. Romulo and Claire, his newfound friend and little manning and schoolmate, will show you how to prepare rice from scratch. Welcome to Balay Bupli in Banawi. Good morning. Your Kuya and Uncle here, still gasping from carrying the firewood into my little house. <laughs> By the way, we are at Balay Bupli in the Banawi Rice Services. And thank you for my new fun friend, my man, and even my schoolmate, Claire here. She's the owner of the facility. So today, with my man and uh, Claire here, my little man, and I'm, I'm his other big man. <laughs> We're rice. cooking rice here. From the terrace. From scratch. We're cooking rice from scratch. Here at the very place of organic and traditional rice growing in Banawe. Rice from scratch here in California. Let's begin. Claire will show us how it's done here in yeah. the Cordilleras and I will show you how it's done in the lowlands. Yeah, okay. So this is the bundle, this is the, 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 the produce and then you go this way. How to start it? Go this way. One by one, pull to separate from the uh, stock. Then it goes this way. So here it goes. Here. Yeah. Yeah, here. This way. Yeah. Then. What's your hat, Claire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. So that's what she's doing. It's pulling the straws. Yeah. Or from the bundle, and to automatically, the grain falls out, out from here. the bundle. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'll, like this one here, this way. Yeah. So here. more time <laughs> the Ifugaos have more time in the lowlands we would just put this here entirely and pound it but here the extra task is with patience it's therapeutic Liba right, Claire therapeutic to pull the straws uh, individually yeah okay we do what we do next is to pound it I'll use a smaller one uh, uh, yeah. the bigger uh, Oh, it's okay. You can do it. We also we also do this way. Just yeah. Do it this way. is the lowland style. Even. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Now, okay. exhaust by. This is how to do it. So we are doing it. We're combining the lowlands and the uplands so you style. So you can do this alone. Pound it like this, or do it. We can do it. Do it also. Synchronized pounding. Okay. I'll start it and. Well, just be careful with the reason. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 The grains, or not the grains, the, yeah, the grains have been yes. separated from the straw. Yeah. But that's not enough. We have to pound it further to remove the husk. Yeah. Be Yeah, so, okay. so there's only a few grains coming out. Yeah, so just to illustrate the process, we'll remove this for now. Yeah. Okay. Put it here. Yeah. I'm beginning to sweat and it's 21 degrees up here in the mountains, but I'm enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it as well. To our friends out there who don't have access to natural growing or rice and just buy your rice from the Asian store or from SM or from CSI or from the market, you're missing this, <laughs> you're missing this experience. Yeah, this, that's why if you can do this at home, at least learn how to respect rice, the difficulty 
involved in growing it. It's an artist's job, so don't throw your extras. Don't just throw away your rice. Don't eat all you can. <laughs> That's even irresponsible. <laughs> My God, I think I'm crying. <laughs> so, this is it. I, I forgot to mention that the, this is now in its almost acceptable uh, purity. There's more rice now than the hus. Yeah. Let's continue. We don't even have the, we don't even have the English word for tar up. What's the English word? <laughs> Blowing the hus. We, we, we know. We know. Thank you, Claire. We know is the English word for this process. We know. See. A lowland, a lowlander from the rice growing areas of the Philippines learning how to winnow. We know, huh? From the highlanders, from our Ifugao friends. Okay, this would be good. Uh, yeah, to to our standard, one, to our commercial this standards, this is not yet uh, pure, but we can. You still have the, the, the fiber, it's the Lola. fiber it's, here, yeah. it's healthy. Yeah. yeah it's see, the, See the fiber. Yeah. Yeah. So this is still. Uh, we call this in the lowlands itta, the yeah, has, itta, the has. or the mess. So you just remove. Manually uh, remove it. Yeah. A few of it. Yeah. Then you can cook. Here in the uplands, even the measuring, we don't have a measuring measuring cup. I will we'll be true to the tradition. Yeah. yeah so we use the hand. Yeah. No liche or measuring cup. We call it liche in the lowlands because it's a it's a milk can, condensed milk. One liche is that, and that's equivalent to one third of a liter. One rakam? No, this is rakam. One. I don't know. I I'm not a native English speaker. I don't know this the measuring unit for this, but this is it. More than a cup. More than a cup. Just one straight. We will not waste this. This is precious. So, one rakam or one. One hand, two handfuls. Mm. <laughs> okay, we'll be cooking this. Okay. I'll, I'll come back, I'll go and fetch water. Okay. We know this, you know this. If you are Asian, if you're Filipino, or you're Indian, or from any rice eating culture, this is how we wash rice first. Yeah, so I wash it and then. Yeah. Here you go. You don't say that's dirty, that's, that's the husk. Okay. It was not perfectly found, of course. Yeah, so dirty. Yeah. Then you measure the rice. Uh, the rice would be if this amount, then you go this way, and uh, the water would be the same. So you go the mm. rice this way, mm. and then you measure the water with the same. Yes, same level. Uh, same level. One is to one. Yeah, one is to one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Lid on. Yeah. And we'll go to the stove. I'll be going up my house for today. <laughs> and slippers off. In most uh, Asian cultures, especially the Ifugaos, the floor is also used for dining and sleeping. So this holy feet or uh, sandals off. So we'll go to the. You see how difficult to start a fire, that's why it's advisable for them to just keep this on 24 hours. In the night, use it to warm the house, and in the morning. Go with the charcoal, hot charcoal. Okay. Claire is saying that they usually cover the hot charcoal to keep it, or the to keep it dying out. So the in the morning, just blow it, and you restart the fire. I hope you're enjoying this. By the way, you're watching Channel 4 <laughs> and we are in the Banawi Rice Services and today we'll be going to the uh, to the Batad Rice Services. There are more than five terrace complexes here in the Banawi area. Cluster terraces. Cluster terraces. And Banda. <laughs> I was told by Claire that the farm in the smoke also conditions the 
touch roofing of the heart. It drives away the insects, it drives away the cockroaches and the rats, etc. So, cooking, uh, or so cooking food also serves as this and oh, what's the word? <laughs> as, what else, Claire? Uh, that it, it preserves the kogon, yeah. the wood. And the wood, the yeah. Pies. That's also notice that the Cordillera are uh, handicrafts that you buy in Baguio are mostly are not mostly but yeah mostly dark because that's the they are darkened by the soot of yeah. the cooking or from the the soot from the cooking. Let's see uh, how our rice chef cooks. I'll show you the caldero. It's about to cook. We can lower the fire now and let the ember, the yeah, the ember, finish the cooking. This is you're you're seeing now the roof, and it's a pyramidal in shape. And Claire says that the shape uh, is designed to preserve the warmth during the cold season. But during the summer months, the walls can be opened like this, so air is free to circulate. So, kung nana, ako naman na may alin dito ng ibos basu ng mga branches. May at gayang kana ko ngayon. Don't throw the branches. Pure rice, rice in this purity, where it came from in Banawe, rice alone. I pound this myself, how I wish I grew it myself, I think that would be in the future. <laughs> it's delicious, by its own. Thank you for spending your time with me today, this morning, here in Banawe, cooking rice from scratch, your Korean uncle here, this time. In Banawe, in my patria dorada, the Philippines Mabuhay. <laughs> Join me again next time as we bring you more of our cuisine from our dear Philippines from the homeland. And we did this in English before we want to share because we want to share this in the world. And Join me again next time as we bring you more of our cooking uh, traditions, either from our kitchen in Holland or at the kitchen or here in our dear Patria Dorada, either in the barrio or elsewhere in the Bujo. Until next time, Dios te Bye bye. <laughs> to our Visayan watchers, this is in Pordoy. This is not Pordoy. I just don't want to have something with it. Just rice. Comida pura. Mountain rice. It's still there. It's imperfect. But it's rice in its pureness. In its purity.
Buddhist chicken. <laughs>